again to the YouTube channel of the Chidos Academy. This afternoon, we will be discussing domain of infusion. But before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It will not cost you anything. And like our video if you enjoy it. Back to the topic, domain of function. What do we mean by domain of a function? Domain of a function can be defined as values of x that will make the function to be defined. I repeat, domain of a function can be defined as the values of x that will make that given function to be defined. When do we say that a given function is defined? A function is said to be defined if it did not give you 0 over 0 or number over 0 or square root of negative number. When you have 0 over 0 is undefined. Number over 0 undefined. Square root of negative, uh, negative any number is under. See what we mean by square root. If you click your calculator, square root of minus 2, it will tell you syntax error or math error, depending on the type of calculator you are using. So, whenever a given function gives us this, or this, or this, we say that it is all defined. So, we want to see how we can calculate all this domain of this function. Okay? Now, to solve it, there are some terms we'll be making use of. One, open bracket, then close bracket. When you see something like 2 and 9, for instance, open bracket, open bracket, see what it means. It means that 2 is not included. And it also means that 9 is not included because this is open bracket, this is open bracket, so both are not included. Look at our number line. This is 2, this is 9. It means that 2 is not included, 9 is not included, but all these numbers after 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all these are included. So numbers after 2, a number before 9 are included, but 2 and 9 are not included. Then if you have it this way, 2 comma 9, what it simply means is at this point, it means that 2 is included, 9 is included, and the number between 2 to 9 also included. So everything will be included. That will be what the close bracket will be telling you. Then when you have it like this, 2 comma 9, it simply means that 2 is not included, but 9 is included. So numbers from after 2 to 9, numbers from here to 9, numbers from here to 9, they are included, but 2 is not included. Then when you have it this way, 2 comma 9, it simply means that 2 is included, but 9 is not included. So 2 are numbers below 9. 2 are numbers below 9 are included, but 9 is not included. So mind you, when we deal with this or make use of these brackets, mind you what we mean by that. Okay? Let's see. The question number one says, find the domain of the following f of s, this. Now, what you do first is equate x minus 4 to 0. That will be giving you s equal to 4. Equate s minus 5 to 0. That will be giving you s equal to 5. Now, put it on a number line. Here, negative infinity, which defines every number, all the numbers in the negative part. 
Y here is positive infinity, which define all the numbers in the positive part. Now, in a number like 4 will be here, then 5 will be somewhere here. After 4, you see 5, 6, 7. Remember your number line goes this way. We have 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. 1, 2, 3, and so on. So, if 4 is here, 5 should be somewhere here. So, 4 should stand this side, 5 should stand at the left side of it, right side of it, please. Okay? So, still remember your number line as you solve the question. Now, what you do is that there are, there are numbers found at this point. 3, 2, 1, 0, and so on. In this number you see here, just pick one, one of it. Pick one number you see here. In this place, you can see, uh, you see three, two, one, zero. So if you pick two, good, three, good, one, zero, good. So I pick zero, for instance, because zero is among the numbers here. So when I pick zero, what I will do is that I put it at this square root sign to know whether I will get negative answer in that square root. I put zero here. Zero minus five, minus five. That means that we will have negative square root. We have square root of minus five, which is undefined. So with this, I will just say here, undefined. I will pick four. I will put it at that square root because I see square root. Four minus five, it will give you minus one. Still on the five because it is negative. I will say four is not included. I will come again. Between four to five, we have 4.1, 4.2, 4.3 to five. I can pick 4.5. I pick 4.5, we put it here. 4.5 minus five. That will be giving me minus 0 0.5. I will be having minus 0 0.5. Still not defined because we don't have value of it. You say everything here not defined. That one point you are picking has given you the answer you are looking for. Just one point. Not to test everything. Just one point. Pick five. Five minus five. That will be giving you zero. Square root of zero is zero. But mind you, you will be having x minus four all over zero when you pick five. That means number over zero, which we said when it is number over zero or zero over zero or square root or negative, it will be undefined. We say here at five, it will be undefined. Pick six. Six minus five, one. Square root of one, one. Put six at the, at the numerator. If we put six here, we are talking about the numbers here. Numbers here are 6, 7, 8, and so on. Pick only one. I pick 6. Put in 6 minus 4, I will have 2 all over. 6 minus 5, I will have 1. Square root of 5 will give me, square root of 1 will give me 1. 2 over 1 will give me 2. Define answer. I will mark everything here, say it is defined. Now, for this question, you can see that everything here are on the five because we put back back there. Then what we now do is that we say from here to here is where we talk about the five. Every number here define the question. See how we package it. We say the answer is within equality. We say x greater than five. X greater than this number five. That is six, seven, eight. That is the domain of the function. Then with the brackets we talk about, you see this 5 is not, you, con you consider from here to here, this 5 is not included. You use open bracket to represent it because it's not included. You say comma, till wherever number ends, because these are numbers after this 5, till wherever number ends, now say plus infinity. As you say plus infinity, the implication is that 5 is not included, but numbers after 5 to wherever number ends, 
C, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 10, whatever number n, that defines it. Mind you, whenever you put infinity, infinity is not a number. It defines numbers that we will talk about. It, de it defines many numbers, that is all positive numbers. So, since it's not a number, use open bracket to put it. What this simply means that infinity is not what we are talking about, five is not a number, but number between number between five to wherever number ends is what we talk about. This is the main of the function, and this is also the main of the function. This is inequality form, and this is in bracket form. We go to the second question. The second question, make your x plus 4 equal to 0. You will have x equal to minus 4. Make your x minus 3 equal to 0. We have x equal to 3. So what you do is that you draw your number line. Say minus infinity plus infinity. Then when you draw your number line, Remember, this is zero. All these are negative of zero. I mean, negative numbers of the number line. All these are positive. So I locate my three here. I locate my minus four here because it is a negative part of zero. Then I claim my zero because zero is not among what we got here. We only got minus four and three. Now, pick any number here, minus five. We have minus five, minus six, and so on. Pick number here, minus 5. Put it in this, uh, uh, um, this uh, function. You have square root of minus 5 plus 4 all over minus 5 minus 3. That will be giving you square root of minus 1 all over minus 8. Minus, you cancel minus. Square root of positive number is defined. If you press square root of 1 over 8, it will give you an answer in your calculator. So, it means everything here is defined. Carry minus 4 put in the function because we are finished sorting out this side. Now, we'll be having minus 4 plus 4 all over minus 4 minus 3. Then we'll be having square root of 0 over minus 7. 0 over minus 7 equal to square root of 0 over yeah. minus 7 is 0. Square root of 0 is 0. That is defined. It shows that uh, square root of it shows that minus 4 is defined. Pick anything here. Here you have minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, and so on. Now, pick only one number here. Since 0 is inside this point, since 0 is inside this point, I pick 0. When I put 0 here, I'll be having square root of 0 plus 4, 0 plus 4 all over 0 minus 3. Then that will be giving me square root of 4 over minus 3. You see that what we'll be having will be minus 4 over 3. That is, the square root have negative signs. Okay? Because it is negative, we say here, is undefined. We come again, we pick 3 and put. We say, put 3 here, 3 plus 4 all over 3 minus 3. That will be giving you 7 over 0. When 0 is dividing any number, it's undefined. So square root of each will be undefined. You say 3 is not included. You pick 4 because you have 4, 5, 6, and so on. Pick 4, put it here. You will be having square root of 4 plus 4 all over 
4 minus 3. That will be giving you square root of 8 over 1. Square root of 8. So if you put it in your calculator, it will give you an answer. It tells you that every number here is also defined. Just that one number you pick and substitute here will give you whether it is defined or undefined. Now, we are finished sorting out our question. So what we now do is I will package it. See how we package it. In inequality form, minus 4 and numbers here are defined. Numbers here are less than minus 4. You say x less than or equal to minus 4. Because minus 4 is defined and values less than minus 4 are also defined. Then or and 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 x numbers here are greater than 3. S greater than or S greater than 3. Why I do not put equals to here is because 3 is not included. So every number greater than 3 and every number less than minus 4 or equal to 4 are what define the question. Then in bracket form, remember that here is included, you put it with block. Then from here to here is what is uh, uh, defined. So what you now do is that you put negative infinity comma minus 4. Close the infinity over open bracket, not block bracket or close bracket. Then say union. Then this one, you say open bracket 3 because 3 is not included. Then positive infinity. This positive infinity, because we write it positive infinity from here to here, positive infinity must go with um, open bracket. Please. Don't put positive infinity or negative infinity close bracket. Instead, cover it with open bracket. This simply means we are talking about numbers greater than 3 till whatever number stop. It means that 3 is not included. Only number greater than 3 to whatever number stop. And 4 included and not minus 4 included and number below it is included. So we have this to be our answer. We go to the next question. The next question says, find the domain of f of s this. Make s minus 1 equal to 0, it implies that s equal to 1. Make s plus 2 equal to 0, it implies that x equal to minus 2. Now, shortcut to this is that if you have if you put this in number line, you will have minus 2 and 1 plus infinity, negative infinity. Now, the implication is that if here is defined, for instance, here must be undefined and here must be defined. If here is defined, here will be undefined, here will be defined. That is when it is a quadratic equation or when we have two values inside the square root like this. Then, if here is undefined, it means that here will be defined and here will be undefined. So you don't need to be testing it. Here and here will be included. Okay? Now, see what will be. Now let's see how we can appreciate it. We say minus 2, minus 2, 1 plus infinity and negative infinity. Pick any number here, that is what we need. Pick minus 3. When I put minus 3 here, see what I will have. Minus 3 minus 1, minus 4. Minus 3 plus 2, minus 1. That will be giving me plus 4. Square root of plus 4 is defined. So here, defined. So what we will now say is, here should be undefined, since here is defined, and here is defined. Defined, undefined, defined. Or undefined, defined, undefined. Okay? So since here is defined, here should be undefined, and here should be defined. 
including these two points. Because we are talking about quantitative equation. So with this, we have sorted out the question. All we now do is to package it. We say here is included, we put like this. Minus 2, then minus infinity. Union, we put, this one is included, right? So we will not use open bracket, we use close bracket. 1 till infinity. Whenever you put infinity, infinity must be covered with open bracket. Negative infinity, open bracket. Don't make mistake of covering it with close bracket. Okay? So this is the answer to the question. Whenever you have a quadratic equation, and after getting the values of s, the two s, and locate it to your number line, and your first part is defined, it means that the second part will be undefined, and the third part will be defined. Or if the first part is undefined, the second part will be defined, and the third part will be undefined. That is it. So, undefined, defined, undefined. Define, undefined, define. Depending on what your first part is all about. Okay? So we have gotten the question number three. We go to the last question. Question number four. When I say, they say we should get the, the uh, domain of cube root of s square minus s plus six. Now, it is very important to know that when you say square root of negative number, maybe negative term, it has no answer. But when you say cube root of negative term, it has an answer. So cube root of negative number is defined. Cube root of positive number is defined. That tells us that when you have even number, when n here is even number, it will be undefined. That is for even numbers. When the n here is even number, the answer will be undefined. But when n here is odd number, that will be giving you a defined answer, irrespective of whether the inside of the square root is positive or negative. Okay? Please have it in your mind as you solve. Then, what you now solve now, for you to solve it, factorize this. To factorize x squared minus x plus 6, all we do is that look for two factors minus 3, minus, uh, minus 3 plus 2, x, x. That will be giving you x minus 3, bracket, x plus 2. These are the linear factors of this question. So what you now do that, since you are putting these two, it means that what they say, get the domain of this. Okay? Now, what you do is that, what you do is that, you put both of them to zero. You say x minus 3 equal to zero. It implies that x equal to 3 s plus 2 equal to 0. It implies that s equal to minus 2. Okay? Then, you put it on a number line. Look at our number line. Then, when you put it in our number line, you locate here is negative infinity, positive infinity. So, minus 2 should be here and uh, 3 should be here. Pick any point here, minus 3. Put it here. Minus 3, minus 3, minus 9. Minus 3 plus 2, you will be having minus 1. Square root of 9. Cube root of 9 will be defined. Cube root of, cube root of 9, defined. If you press cube root of 9, you will get an answer. Then, you pick minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. 0 times is 0. Okay? That means cube root of 0 is 0. It means minus 2, define. Pick a number here. We have 0 here. Inside here. Pick it. 
Zero minus three, minus three. Zero plus two, two, two times minus three, minus six. Cube root of minus six. If you press it in your calculator, it is defined. Yeah, take it. Pick three. Three minus three is zero. Zero times everything here, zero. Cube root of zero, yeah, zero. Defined. It means that cube root of zero will not be undefined, it is defined. Pick any number here, you will be having four. Four minus three, one. Four plus three, and four plus two, six. One times six, six. Cube root of, cube root of six is defined. It means that here is also defined. So what is your answer now? You can see every point are defined. It means that when you have cube root of quadratic expression, the domain of it will be all real numbers. So domain equal to all real numbers. So whenever they say cube root of a quadratic equation, say that the domain of it is all real numbers. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the video if you enjoy it. Okay? Please watch for the continuation of the topic. Thank you.